Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for tuning in. Welcome if you're new. This is going to be a reading having a look to see what your special person wishes they could have said to you or communicated to you. Um, whether you're in contact or in no contact, this reading can be for you. So I want you to think about your person and we'll see if we can channel their energy. Now, please remember to like this video if, if you enjoy this content and also to subscribe and to hit the bell notification to receive updates for when readings for your sign will be posted to the channel throughout the week. I really do appreciate you joining me, Sag. So let's jump into the reading and see what we can find out about um, what this person wishes they could have said to you. Okay, straight away Sagittarius when I saw that ace of cups the words that came to mind were can I have a second chance there's someone here that wants to clear the air about a situation or potentially have another another go at this connection to fall in love have another go at your marriage have another go at your engagement or your relationship the ace of cups are a beautiful new emotional beginning okay they can be a symbol of rebirth and you see this cup is is overflowing here so there's someone who has it, it makes me think that this person either hasn't been in contact with you recently or they've had so much that they've gone through emotionally that they're like bursting to tell you something here they're like overflowing with emotion but I do get the sense it's around a second chance or a second opportunity here with you romantically okay there's a lot of manifestation that the magician brings so it makes me think that this person they want to tell you they're trying to get to you or they're trying to manifest something from you so they want to say they want something here they either want something from you or they've always wanted something from you. And I think that's the kind of energy that they're coming out with. They're being fair and very truthful. Okay, with the Justice card, it's a very truthful energy. Um, the, the Magician can be seen as manipulative energy. However, the Magician is for amusement and entertainment. Um... And with the, with the moon card, I get there was, for some of you Sagittarians, there's someone here who is anxious that you only use them to entertain yourself, um, or out of them feeling insecure emotionally, they may wish to say to you, out of a place of anger maybe, for some, that they're so overwhelmed that they think... Um, they only were with you to manipulate you or to play you okay the magician is mischievous so they can cause some trouble for some of you sagas i get that this person wants to stir the pot a little bit okay so it makes me think they're a bit restless or they're a bit bored with the king of wands and they want to sort of stir the pot i think they mean well with the ace of cups it would say to me they want renewal they want a union the justice card is libra and essentially that's about counterparts and balance and things working in do in, in in like a binary concept so the female and the male um one half and then the other half so it makes me think there's someone here who wants to communicate something about balance or potentially coming back together which is what i'm seeing with that ace and and you know the six of swords is here i don't know if this is someone who wants to tell you they want to travel to see you okay they want to commute to your town they want to take a flight and see you they want to be rejoined by you somehow especially if this is like an overseas lover um, that's coming in a foreign lover six of swords is about moving away from a situation mentally i get there's someone here who wants to tell you they they want to move on from you sag and again I think it's because they they still feel a lot of emotion towards you. Okay, they're guarded. We see the watchtowers. The moon can be protection, can be anxiety, intuition. There's someone here who intuitively may feel like you're trying to reconnect with them energetically or physically. And their way of responding to is responding to that is that they wish they could say to you, um, I'm trying to move on from you. But I I I don't know if that's honest the, the honest truth, Sagittarius. I question that I question it's just a front because the magician 
has a lot going on on the outside. You know, he dazzles us and he tricks us and he makes things look a certain way. But really on the inside, which is what we're seeing, that vulnerable side here with the moon, you know, the moon is about caring for someone. It's about showing compassion and tenderness. There's someone here who wishes they could have said to you, I wish you knew how much you care or I can't believe you don't care or there's something about the words care or compassion or kindness. So you may hear words from this person such as, I wish you cared enough to reach out or I wish, you know, I can't believe you don't care how upset I am or, you know, I, I don't care about you or there's, there's a lot of this care factor thing, but I think it's coming from a place of, of feeling guarded and feeling threatened, you know, that the animals are very primal and they're biologically programmed to protect themselves from threats. And there's someone here who may be feeling you're a threat and their way of uh, responding to that Saj, in my opinion, is them saying those things that I've mentioned. That I don't care and this, that and all of that. But I think underneath it all, they, they mean well. They want to communicate. The bird is a messenger. Um, and, you know, we've got these, these notions of new beginnings coming here. So there's someone here who wants a fresh start. But the way in which they're doing it, Sagittarius, it's it's not the best approach. It's it's not the healthiest approach, I don't think. And, you know, I don't know how far it's going to get. For some of you, this person will say these things. And it's going to get your attention as, as you're coming up as the King of Wands. So I think it's going to get your attention. It's going to get you to react somehow. So it makes me think that they wish they could say something to make you react and to test you, maybe, um, or to see if you actually do care, to see what kind of reaction they're going to get. Like I said, is it for amusement? Partly. The way in which they're doing it is for amusement, or it appears to be quite dramatic, but underneath it all, I sense those feelings there, and I sense someone wants, they want you to care for them. They want softness. They want that compassion with the moon card. It's it's all over in the spread here, you know, the theme of water. Um, there's Cancer and Libra here, as, as well as Aries, um, potentially Gemini here. So this may be heightened for those dealing with one of those signs. Um, but it's a very odd sort of situation here um, for them, Sag. And of course, different parts of this reading may resonate with you rather than the whole. Okay, so there might be certain parts that make more sense than others. Um, but I do hope this reading has been helpful. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel to receive updates for readings for your sign. Um, I really would appreciate that. So thank you again, Sagittarius, and I hope to be in touch very, very soon. So um, take care, everyone. Uh, all the best and bye for now.